Uh, my name is Nick Morasco. I am a former teacher of 14 years and um, just resigned and am completely shifting careers into um, farming. So I'll be farming in an urban landscape, so I guess you can call myself an urban, urban farmer. And um, we've partnered with Bright Agrotech. We're um, gonna be growing a lot of our food hydroponically as well as aquaponically. Once I have everything laid out and I can, I can essentially have a blueprint of how to run the system, how to harvest the system, what plants that we're gonna grow, the whole deal, and we can start a farm in California. We can start a farm wherever we want. We can expand um, as we acquire more space uh, here in the Chicago area. We'd like to develop a good, strong CSA in the community and have a nice mix of fruiting plants and then our herbs and greens, uh, maybe even microgreens, and just have a nice, um, diverse kind of harvest that we can offer to the community that's extremely nutritious, um, extremely local, extremely transparent, um, and they can be a part of it. They can even volunteer and be a part of, of, of the farm. So. Triple Threat is an organization that is all about passion and cause. And essentially what we are really trying to do, and if we're doing our jobs well, we are connecting people's passion through them volunteering and providing opportunities for them to volunteer and connecting it with the cause. And then the cause in our case is under-resourced youth. So that's Triple Threat, where I came from um, is from a, a science background, um, not necessarily even in agriculture, but just a general science background. And I've taught for 14 years. I've taught everything from environmental science to, you know, your physical sciences. And um, I was always trying to look for different ideas to bring into the classroom to engage my students. Over the years, I started developing my own aquaponic systems and using that in the classroom on a very small scale. Long story short, that's what led me down the road to working with Triple Threat Mentoring. We ended up talking to the city and um, they said, hey, we've got this space. And we were like, cool, I think we can make it work. And that's when I started to research, you know, the commercial scale aquaponics and hydroponics. So now we're fixing it up, building it out to be an urban farm. So we're repurposing property that um, really didn't have a whole lot of value and we're hoping to provide a tremendous value to the community by bringing Bright Agrotech in and essentially empower us to grow a tremendous amount of food right in the middle of an urban landscape. It's exactly what the community needs. So we're hoping that we can add another layer to what Triple Threat does with the farm and um, really improve the overall health of the community. That's our overall goal. The next couple hours here, we're just gonna hang around, kind of tidy up, pack up a lot of our tools, get everything squared away, um, just watch the system run for a little while. We wanna let it run for an extended period to make sure it's draining, to make sure every, you know no new leaks are forming for some reason. Um, so we're just gonna watch it. We're gonna probably test out some light movers and uh, just watch those go back and forth, just make sure there's nothing wrong with any of those. And then uh, we'll come back on Sunday, do a final check and uh, head back home. I'm about to fly, homie. I'm about to fly, homie. But that's just me in this life I live. I always try, homie. I always try, homie. But that's just me in this life I live. I'll never die, homie. I'll never die, homie. But that's just me in the life I live.